your energy forecast for Thursday, May 23rd. Okay, so welcome to the full moon in Sagittarius day. There are plenty of resources out there to help you get in line with this full moon, starting with the Gemini season e-guide with May's zodiac forecast. And of course, take a listen to the astro forecast, not only for the full moon in Sag, but also for Venus moving into Gemini energy shortly after the full moon peaks. There's a lot going on here today. And if you want a in-depth and detailed look at your own chart where these energies are manifesting the areas of your life that this particular energy is going to influence the most please jump over and reserve your spot for the moon guide for this particular event so there's definitely a lot going on here today the moon is shifting out of that scorpio energy going void of course at 3 28 a.m eastern standard time we're locking into sagittarius energy at 4 25 a.m and of course we are building towards the full moon in sag reaching its peak potency at two degrees 55 minutes here early this morning now there are 16 different aspects here today yep quite a busy day in the cosmos we go through all of the aspects that pop off under the full moon's peak potency in the moon guide and so if you want to run down if you want to do a deep dive definitely jump over there 16 different aspects nine of them are going to involve the moon so let's get into it. We have a lot to cover. The moon in Scorpio is going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. This is an empowerment type of energy. We're bossing up. We're seeing the areas of our lives, especially our emotions, that we have the ability to take power and control over. We're starting to see this new version of self in a stronger form. And because of this, we are definitely feeling well-equipped and well-prepared to make this major pivot that of course the full moon in Sag is definitely supporting the moon in Scorpio going to directly oppose and sit across from first Venus the goddess of love beauty worth pleasure and money in her rulership here in Taurus energy and then Jupiter pretty much at the exact same time technically there's six minutes in between these particular aspects popping off but because Venus and Jupiter are at the tail end of Taurus energy we are getting an opposition and of course an opposition doesn't feel good the opposition with Venus is putting us at odds with our wants needs and desires again we're kind of approaching the peak precipice of making a major change and when that happens our egoic programming kicks in to try to convince us to settle so that we're not growing we're not evolving we're not changing we're not transforming the opposition to Jupiter the planet of growth expansion beliefs abundance and blessings putting us in a situation where now we're a little bit divided on whether or not we want to pursue a new path whether we want to go out into the world and explore new territories and whether or not we want to explore new options and opportunities to actually grow to actually advance again the fears the doubts the insecurities kick in just as we're preparing to make a major move the moon in Scorpio going to trine beautiful interaction with Neptune in his rulership in Pisces energy. This is water on water action. This is reminding us, refreshing us, recharging us, renewing us on what it is that we want to build towards, what it is that we need to create. Our higher self is knock, knock, knocking on the door saying, don't let that ego programming keep you in a point of stagnancy. We have a mission. We have a quest. Get in alignment. Remind yourself what all of this is for and push forward. This is a very empowering energy. Our confidence is soaring. Our intuition coming in very strong to remind us what it is that we want to change, what it is that we want to transform, and where it is that we have new inspirations calling us to pursue a new path. This is the point in time, 3.28 a.m., that the moon is going to go void, of course. Things get shaky, things get unstable, things get uncertain. While the moon is void, we have the moon in Scorpio making an awkward interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. That particular placement is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to grow, trying to get us on a new mission, into a new purpose. This particular energy is kind of putting us in a situation where we're stepping back to observe the options and opportunities that are now coming very much in our awareness. 4.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon shifts into Sag energy. 
The transition from Scorpio energy to Sag energy is always a welcomed one. We do the shadow work in Scorpio energy. It's heavy. It's intense. The Sag energy is kind of the light at the end of the very dark tunnel. We kind of emerge in the light. We see things very differently. We have a different perspective. We have a different mood. We have a different attitude. The interesting din dynamic here is that five minutes after the moon shifts into this Sag energy, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, and Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, both at the 29 critical crisis karmic degree of this Taurus energy coming together for their conjunction. This is a magical time. This is a renewal. This is a recharging. This is a resetting of our wants, of our needs, of our desires. This is a magical energy. This is a lucky energy, especially where love and finances are concerned. This is kind of changing our perspective on what it is that we need to feel safe and secure and stable to feel happiness and joy and huge manifest potential. Again, I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to the full moon and Sag astro forecast. I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to Venus moving into Gemini energy because we kind of touch on how this particular conjunction sets the tone, sets the foundation down for all of these events, these energy shifts and the domino effect that is definitely going to be working in our favor. Venus then goes on to sextile, beautiful interaction with Neptune in Pisces energy. This is also a very magical influence. Why? Because Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. Neptune is where we move into imaginary land, where we tap into new creative ideas, new inspirations, new aha moments, and we're able to bring them life through the Venus energy. Venus is the portal between the magical realm and the earthly realm. We are reminding ourselves what this new vision, new goal, new dream actually is to us, what it means to us, how it makes us feel. This is a reminder of our wants, needs, and desires, especially when we're operating from our higher self. And this is turning the volume all the way up on our intuition so that we can get little glimmers, little glimpses of what it is that we're actually working towards. The moon now in Sag energy going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. Pluto is a very important supporting role under this full moon in Sag. If you want a little bit more detail on that and how Pluto's impacting your chart, again, I'm going to recommend that you sign up for the moon guide. But the moon interacting with Pluto in this way, it's a major shift, a major change, a major transformation in our inner realm. We are starting to become a little bit more optimistic, more hopeful, more wishful. That change, that transformation is putting us into a placement of power. We're understanding what it is that we're breaking away from and what it is now that we want to gain closer proximity to. Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, the ruler over this full moon in Sag, at the final degrees of Taurus energy, going to semi-square the north node in Aries energy. So at this particular point in time, we're not really feeling, uh, I'm going to say, stable. We're not feeling sure. We're not feeling certain because, again, we're just about an hour away from the full moon peaking at this point. We're kind of all over the place. There's a scattered energy. We're not feeling the, I'm going to say, readiness to make major moves. The North Node in Aries energy is trying to get us on the right path for our soul's potential, for our soul's mission. Jupiter, who wants us to grow and expand, we're at the critical crisis degree of Taurus energy. So now in this fixed energy, we're starting to get stage fright. We're starting to feel cold feet, if you will, because the options and opportunities for us to make a move, for us to actually grow, for us to actually advance is becoming very real. And that very realness is putting us in a situation where now we're kind of backing down, we're backing away. We're not feeling confident, we're not feeling optimistic, and we sure as hell are not feeling adventurous enough to actually move out into foreign territory. The moon and Sag then going to make an awkward interaction with Mars. Mars is the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in his rulership in Aries energy. This is going to trigger agitation. This is going to trigger frustration. It is a full moon, by the way. So there are emotions rising to the surface. There are this 
I'm going to say overwhelming focus on where it is that we're losing patience. This is the aspect that's going to fester all that frustration, all that anger, all that restlessness, all of the ants in our pants. We are anxiously anticipating action. We are anxiously anticipating the ability to make moves, to project ourselves very far into our path, our plan, our strategy, but we're not there yet. This is the last aspect that pops off prior to the full moon reaching its peak energy at 9.53 a.m. The moon opposes the sun. This is what gives us our full moon in Sag. There's a new emotional awareness coming to the forefront. We're having aha moments and epiphanies. This is majorly going to change the game because we're pivoting away from what it is that we thought we were doing, thought we were pursuing, and now we have new hopes, new wishes, new dreams that we definitely want to explore. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she is going to semi-square that north node prior to her moving into Gemini energy. So the interesting thing is that there is, you know, Venus and Jupiter at the 29th critical degree here in this Taurus energy. That is always a very intense aspect to have, let alone underneath a full moon. Venus interacting with the North Node in this way, again, we're getting stage fright. Again, we're kind of in a state of paralysis. Again, we're actually seeing the opportunity to move forward, and yet we are backing away. We sit in this unstable foreign territory in our heart space. We sit in this, I'm going to say, observation of emotions rising. Fears, doubts, insecurities, trying to block the hopes, the wishes, the dreams that should be more dominant, should be stronger under this full moon in Sag. We are sitting in a conflict point for many hours. We go from 1035 a.m. where Venus semi-squares this north node, creating all of this friction, creating this stage fright, creating this state of paralysis, to 430 p.m. when Venus shifts into Gemini energy. She gives up her rulership. She is now moving into the headspace. She's starting to process what needs to stay, what needs to go. She's starting to move out into the world because curiosity is peaking and she is quite bored. She wants to see what else is out there. She wants to see if the grass is really greener on the other side. Again, there's an astro forecast for this event for you to take a listen to. And if you have your Gemini season e-guide available, flip to this particular section and capture the emotions that are rising within you on this day between the full moon and Sag and Venus conjuncting with Jupiter and then Venus lo losing her rulership and moving into Gemini energy, there's a lot of shifting energies. Make sure you're capturing what is going on in that heart space. The moon in Sagittarius energy, then going to make an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. Now, this particular interaction is taking place early evening and definitely going to put us in a situation to realize that the goal, the vision, the dream that we are trying to conjure up, that we're trying to advance ourselves towards, that we're not really the version of self that is a vibratory match in order to actually bring these things to life. So we're taking a good look at ourselves. We're taking a good look at where it is that we're still holding on to fears and doubts and insecurities where we're not feeling the confidence, the optimism that we need need in order to actually pursue a new path. 5.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Jupiter sextiling Neptune. So again, we kind of talked about this in the Moon Guide episode, um, but this is a one-off aspect that is very magical. It is very spiritual. It is bringing all of the good vibes. Jupiter, of course, wants to expand on what it is that we want, what we need, what we desire, not only for love and relationships and finance, but to feel safe and secure and comfortable not only in our own skin but in the physical realm in which we've created we have neptune in this pisces energy putting us into a more spiritual perspective we have a new want new need new desire for mission for meaning for purpose we're tapping into our imagination we're tapping into new creative force energy and we are definitely realizing where it is that we are going to create options and opportunities for us to pursue a new path that involves 
all of those things. So that is a very harmonizing energy. It's going to kind of put us in Delulu land for a moment, if I do say so myself, and intense emotions, good, bad, or otherwise, Jupiter tends to magnify whatever it is that we're sitting in. The last thing that we have going on here today is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. Now in Gemini energy, making a positive interaction with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He rules over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. He's in Pisces energy. So this particular aspect is definitely going to help bring us back down to earth, not only from the full moon and Sag pushing us to dream the biggest dream, but between between this Jupiter and Neptune aspect that brings all the spiritualism, all the magic, all the good vibes into our realization. We have to come back down to earth. We have to get a little bit more serious on how it is that we're going to plan to bring some of these goals, these visions to life. Now with Venus and Gemini energy, we have to attempt to get our heart and our head on the same page before we can engage the physical form to take action to make moves. Saturn needs us to be operating from our higher selves, from our most mature selves in order to understand what needs to be built, what we have to create, what we have to bring to life, especially as far as new foundations go, starting with a new willpower, a new discipline, a new plan, new path, new strategy for us to explore.